everyone. I hope you're having a great day, a great week. My name is Melanie and I predominantly do food hauls. Today's video is my weekly food haul. I have been to Asda and Tesco. At Asda I spent 39.43 and at Tesco I spent 81.39. We are going to start with Tesco. I've picked up some eggs. I've not had eggs for such a long time because I don't enjoy them as much as I used to. But I thought I'd get some. So we've got some in just in case. But I have struggled to eat eggs for a while. Don't know why, but it is what it is. I got an easy to cling film, which I was meant to get last week and I accidentally picked up for you. Ginger puree because they seem to have stopped selling it in my Asda. There's just garlic puree. So I need ginger puree. So I had to pay £1.60 instead of £1. Some plum tomatoes. I'm doing three, four recipes this week. Um, some of the things, I think two of the things, it makes four meals. But I'm not going to have it four days in a row. So I'm going to end up saving um freezing four meals basically i'm hoping this stuff you can actually freeze i've not checked but most of it is vegetarian or vegan which wasn't the plan and there is one thing that's chicken um but that's what i'm going to be having and i'm meant to be making one of them today and the one that i would have made was also a lunch by the way it's a soup so there is four things i am going to be making but the soup only serves two people and I will be sharing that. And not sharing the other stuff simply because it's only me that likes vegetarian and vegan food. And the one where I'm using chicken is chicken that I've had from last week that I froze. Um, so I'm just using that up for two meals for myself. And that's the one that's easiest to make. But my chicken's not defrosted so I'm going to have to make one of the other recipes. So whichever is the quickest is what I'm going to be making tonight. So most of the things you're going to see that are for me is basically for the recipes. So I've got plum tomatoes. I just got the cheapest one, even though it's not got a ring of plum. I've got three cans of chickpeas. I do have one in the cupboard, which I am going to use. And then basically I've got one to replace the one that I'm using because I always like to have a can of chickpeas in. One of the recipes, you need veg vegetable bullion. I used to have some of this. I'm presuming I've used it all up because I couldn't see it. I hope I don't find it. Or if I find it, I hope it's still in date so I don't open this one. Butter beans. I always have a tin in the cupboard, but one of the recipes has got butter beans in. So this is going to replace the tin that I'm going to use. I got some Tesco vegetable stock cubes. I know I've got some Aldi ones in the cupboard. It's either Aldi or Tesco. Because I've not used them for a while, I don't know how many there are or if they're in date. So I've got some just in case I need some. Wagtastic tender chicken bites, which the dog hasn't had for a while. I also got the Dental Life Daily Oral Care in medium. I feel like she's got one of these packets open with around two in. But I could be wrong, but I have got something from Asda to go with this. So I didn't get a two packs of the same. I got two almond croissants. Sea book crisps. Then I got this part, bake, part, part baked bread. I got a multi-seed one. I was going to get like bread rolls or something similar. They had a, a white bread, but I do like a seeded bread. This was reduced to like, I think it was on club card for 130. I think it had 35p off. So one of my recipes, it suggests that you have crusty bread with. And I thought I'll get some at part baked um, because then you can bake it and it could be crusty. I mean, that might be what I end up having today. I don't know which recipe I'm doing. It's whichever is easiest and quickest. I did call at Lidl a few days ago and pick up, I picked up some of the oats. Um, I went a couple of weeks ago and got oats and it was the cheapest ones they did because I didn't know they did a more expensive one. I mean, the more expensive ones only like 20p more expensive, but they're the Scottish oat ones. They're predominantly for smoothies, which I am going to be stopping having um, because 
the smoothie powder is about to run out the protein powder is about to run out and i can't imagine i'm going to want it in winter so i've got these porridge oats they did have the quaker oats and these oats on offer for two pound and they both had the same weight in and normally i get the quaker oats but i can't remember ever having scots oats the ones that were on offer were the thick scottish oats for both brands so i'm guessing the other ones are the better sellers and that's why they're on offer i don't know but you save 95p so the two pound instead of 2.95 i got the 10 pack of mini rolls a pack of sorine apple ones two packs of panadol cinnamon rolls and by the way i do have the flash on because it's about six o'clock half past five and it is going darker outside so if you see light reflecting it's just from the flash king edward potatoes because one of the recipes i need 800 grams of potatoes and a swede i can't remember what the weight was because i didn't actually weigh it but i have got a swede and it's carrot and potato mash i mean sweden potato mash which i've never had before um so i didn't need that many but they don't do loose ones in my asda i don't know if they do them in any asda but my asda they don't mintos i actually i normally get squashes every week and i just didn't really want them this week so i got these you don't get many in a packet. I ate a lot of them before I came home because I forgot to have breakfast this morning. Um, the best flavour was the blackcurrant ones. There was only one blackcurrant one. The orange was the worst ones. Um, they cost more money. There's not as many in, but they're better for me. So I have had them. I mean, there was one left, but I just dropped it on the floor. I was meant to get three red onions and one big white one. I must have forgot which way around it was picked up three loose ones and two three loose white ones and two red ones but the, there is a big red one though it's not really showing how big it is so i think that's equal to three a bulb of garlic because two of the recipes have garlic in i think two i think one of them says garlic puree which i have anyway I have some in and I have bought some more and I thought instead of putting garlic puree in the ones that doesn't state garlic puree I'll actually do real garlic for once because I've not had real garlic for ages even though I love real garlic and I know garlic puree is real garlic but this just tastes better but I just prefer the convenience of puree because I always use it up whereas sometimes I end up leaving some of this I got a balsamic vinegar. This was the cheapest one they do. But I think I feel I should have got a more expensive one because I feel like this is going to be quite vinegary. And it's for a recipe. I don't know if it's mixed into the ingredients or if it's like a, something you drizzle on top. But because I don't have any, I, I did get it. I think it was £1.80 or something like that. This is the Swede. I don't know what the weight was. I could have actually weighed it because it wanted a specific weight. It wanted 800 grams of potatoes. And I can't remember what the weight, I feel like it was 600 of um, Swede. I don't know what 600 looks like, but I thought this might be the right weight. I got two limes and two lemons for honey, lemon and ginger. And I definitely need it because I have been ill for 10 days, but I've not been majorly unwell. But someone else is quite unwell and I've managed to avoid them. For the most of the week but today i was very i was in a car with them twice so i i feel unwell anyway like i feel worse than i have done for the last 10 days so i've potentially maybe caught what they've got as well as what i've got i don't know because i always catch what they get i'm hoping i haven't so as soon as i've put all my shopping away i am going to make a honey lemon and ginger i wanted to get this a few times and actually, I was going to get the Tesco do a vitamin C range and I was going to get the cleanser this week. I was actually meant, I was actually meant to pick it up last week because I looked at it the week before that. And I was like, because um, I think it's only something like £1.50 and I don't know if it's any good. And I thought, well, £1.50, if it's not great, I've not wasted a lot of money. So I was going to get that today because my main cleanser is getting super low. And I spotted this at £3.50 
and it had one of those um labels saying everyday low prices because i can't remember this being three pound fifty i always remember it being more so i thought three pound fifty for the amount you get i'm going to give that a go and the last thing that i got on oh, well not the last thing that i got but the last thing for the moment that i got from tesco is the nescafe caramel lattes these were on offer and they weren't in, on offer in asda then from asda I got two loose carrots because one of the recipe calls for two loose carrots. Bananas, you can see what they are today because I literally put them on the scale which is right next to the banana section. I've only got six. I've got one left from last week because I am super low on my protein powder. So I don't know how many uses I've got left. It could be three, it could be four, it could be two. So... I didn't want to end up with loads of bananas. Yeah, I can put banana with the porridge, which is fine. But I didn't want to end up with loads of them. And I also weighed the butternut squash because one of the recipes, it's, I think it's a vegan stew. And I feel like this stew is the one that you have with mashed potato, which is weird because surely you would put the mash, the potatoes in with the stew. I don't even think it's called a stew, but I mean, if I remember, I'll write it in the description and I probably won't remember, but. I needed to get a certain weight butternut squash. I can't remember what the weight was meant to be. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Um, Marvellous Creations, it was £2 in Asda today. It was two fifty in Tesco. Last week, I think it was one fifty in Tesco. And I, I thought, I'm not picking up at two fifty. I'll see how much it is in Asda because I went to Tesco first. And it was one fifty. so I'm glad that I waited until I got to Asda. No, it was £2 in Asda. It had, a pound, it had 50p off. The first thing I actually picked up in Asda was these. I love a fig. I literally eat these by themselves. Like, I think they were something like 89p. And now that I'm looking at them, I really want a fig roll. <laughs> I know it's really random, but I do. Um, I needed sweet chilli. I hope it was like, as in the sauce, like this. I do have one that I opened, but it's quite spicy for a sweet chilli sauce. So I got this because surprisingly, this was cheaper than Asda's own, but I feel like there was more in Asda's own and Asda's own also had a light version because I used to get that one quite often, but I've gone for the Blue Dragon one. I got a The Hero Dental Chew. She used to have these. She went off them. She refused to eat them, but that was a long time ago. So I'll see how she gets on with them. And I got other typical three packs of the Adventurous Sticks. Nurofen Garlic Puree, only a pound. The seeded rolls, the soft brown rolls for me, they're 50p this week. They had the apple ones as well, which we've not had. If they're still on offer, whether they're a pound or 50p next week, I will get the apple ones. Two bottles of Pepsi Max from Tesco, because I think they're 179 each. Eight pack of orange like I said, I feel like I've got a couple left. I had to get an eight pack of... Diet Coke, I don't like doing it this way because it works out more expensive, but the bigger offers were the bigger boxes were not on offer. So the Pepsi Max were, but they didn't want any. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get the eight packs until the big boxes go on offer. And that's why when I typically see them on offer, even if I've got enough to last me a week or two, I'll pick them up because it's good to get them on offer because this is four pounds. Whereas you can normally get like the 28 pack for seven. So it makes more sense to do that. But when it's not an offer, I just have to get that. And I literally had to get it this week because I only have one can left. I think I've got one in the fridge and one not in the fridge. So obviously I needed to do it. Apple and strawberry. It's a quadruple strength. This is £2.10. It's 99p in... Aldi but that's double strength which it still works out cheaper if you had to buy two bottles but you always save 10p obviously I wasn't at Aldi so I've got the as the Tesco one which I've had before I got three four I got four apple and mango two sparkling peach I drank this when I came in from the dog walk I was meant to have this but I forgot to put I forgot to put that in the fridge that was in the fridge and I've literally just opened that and that's the coconut one. I got a six pack of 
coconut oil toilet roll so these are from asda i've noticed they've changed a couple of the ranges to this brand exceptional um by asda these were four pounds these were the best out of what they had they had a pack of four quarter pounders which were cheaper than these but these are going to be the better burgers nothing i'm going to show you in this bit here the four items you're about to see are for me so the four items i'm about to show you are not for me i just feel like i think they've actually had the quarter pounders and they don't mind them but these are obviously a more premium one if you're wondering why it's reflecting light firstly that's the fridge light that the flash is on if you see any reflections then corned beef it was um two for three fifty so i got them the corned beef i'll show you mine when we get through i'll show you what i got when we get further into it you only save 50p you get 25p off each one i think because it's um I think the two pounder packets you always say 50p but it's better than nothing they keep asking me for these when i originally got them it was basically because cod in tesco um i think it was 480 then they had haddock which was around four pounds ish then they had this at 280 and I've had baser before, but in breadcrumbs, and I didn't love it because it's a stronger tasting fish. And I think I've said this in a video before, but I know they don't mind a stronger tasting fish. And I got it then because there was more fish in general in the packet. And also it wasn't to do with the price. It was to do with the fact that this had the most fish in it for the less price. And it, it was cheaper, but it was more about how much you get. And as you'll see, they've had it every week since and they said that it's a really tasty fish. So if you're looking for a cheaper fish, apparently this is nice. It's just me who doesn't like a stronger fish taste. And it says it's a more delicate taste. So um, it's just me who's fussy with fish. And then they also wanted two chicken breasts this week. They have two pies as well so they have got eight meals so they've got the food for the week i got this massive container pun it is it a pun it of chestnut mushrooms one of the recipes that i'm doing this week has 300 and something i think it's 380 grams of chestnut mushrooms in so I had to get the bigger one because the smaller one's like less than that, like 250 or whatever it was. They weren't expensive. I noticed in a lot of vegetarian slash vegan dishes, mushrooms are used as a meat alternative because of the texture and the taste. So I guess this is probably going in the vegan recipe. I can't remember because I've I've got a, um, a couple of vegan and um, veg I think one recipe is vegan and the others are vegetarian except for the one I'm doing with chicken but I've already got the chicken so anyway we've got the chestnut mushrooms I got four for the price for three pounds because even though I was meant to get enough protein yogurts and pouches to last me for two weeks I never get enough of the protein yogurt slash puddings but last week when I went if you watched the video you'll know that there wasn't a massive selection so I struggled to get what I got. I still have one left. I still have one left. It's the yogurt with the granola. So I needed at least three. And it's four for three pounds, which is absolutely cheap. And I've not had these for weeks. But these are a favourite of mine. One of the recipes I'm doing is porridge with blueberry compote. And there's some Greek yogurt in it. So I needed 100 grams. And this is 150 believe or was it 200 i can't remember it was one pound 50 i could have got the bigger tub which was an offer for 275 which i would have used and looking back i should have got so maybe next time if i do it or even if i just need greek yogurt or it's meant to be like greek yogurt um because i like greek yogurt i just prefer the more expensive one if i'm eating it if it's mixed in with things it doesn't bother me the cheaper one i got one coconut milk and two almond milks one of the recipes, I need eight vegan sausages or vegetarian sausages. Um, I think it's like a vegetarian sausage casserole from memory. And I was reading the reviews. It's from the BBC Good Foods website, by the way. I just Googled. Um, I think I put like quick, either quick or easy recipes or something like that. 
Um, and a lot of them ended up being meat free and vegetarian, which doesn't bother me because I'm trying to eat more, like more vegetarian food. And I was reading the reviews because it had five stars by everyone who'd voted. One of them said that they used the Linda McCartney sausages and they should have used better ones. Now, I like the Linda McCartney ones and that's what I probably would have got. Although, although they do come in boxes of six from the freezer section because I probably would have brought frozen. Or I might have got fresh and I spotted these on an end of an aisle. And I have had the Richmond ones before but they need heavily seasoning. So I thought I'd give these a go and hopefully they're okay. I think their issue was, I think they broke apart, but they do because vegan sausages don't hold well together, especially if you're cooking for a long period of time. So I would say put them in for less time, especially the fresh ones, because they'll still cook through, they just won't fall apart. This is what I got in the two for 350 I've just got some beef. And then two of my recipes want fresh rosemary, well, one wants fresh rosemary and the other one gives you a choice between three different herbs, one of them being rosemary. And I thought, well, I'm getting rosemary for this recipe. I'm not going to buy a separate herb. So there's going to be more than enough. One of them said that you need either that Nevo, is it Nevo cabbage or is it Nevo um, spinach or something else? And most people in the comments were going for spinach. So I went for spinach, but this has got the shortest date on. So I'm going to see if that's the recipe that I do first, because obviously I don't want the spinach to go funny. And I got a big, I got a big chunk of ginger from Tesco, and I think it was only something like 60, 60 70 p for all of that. I got the sweet and crunchy salad. This was something like seventy four p. I thought that was really cheap. A green and red pepper because I'm doing this crispy chicken recipe. It's like a Chinese recipe and they want red and green pepper in. And I'm not a big fan of green pepper, but I got it because it was part of the recipe. I got spring onions because it's a part of a recipe. Normally I would skip it, but I saw these and they reduced to something like 50p. So I thought, well, I might as well get them because typically I wouldn't. But I'll have them for a change. I got some frozen blueberries. In fact, there was only about three packets of these left, so I was very lucky. I am doing a porridge with blueberry compote. So, because I'm trying to find high protein breakfasts and different breakfasts because I will be stopping my smoothies. Not permanently, but I will be going on a break from them. I got Asda's own waffles. I don't know if there's a big difference. These aren't for me. I mean, I might have one. I've not got any plans to have any. They were right next to the bird's eye ones. And I feel like the bird's eye ones were over a pound more. So I've just got the Asda own ones for now. And I picked up potato pops, which I've personally had before a couple of times. I thought they might want to try them. They cost less than a pound, so... It's something different. It's a different potato product for them. And that is everything that I picked up. That all will be in part two. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Or any suggestions of food that you think I may like based on what I'm showing you in this and the next video. I hope you all have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching.